Ned here, welcome to the ambulance. Today we're going to be building the bed platform. I'm really excited about the bed platform because it's the last step before I can actually take this thing out and start using it. Um, today for the build on the bed platform, my friend Terry is joining. She's going to be helping out with the project today. Uh, we just got back from Home Depot. We got the lumber and stuff that we need, so let's get to it. We've cut and sanded a brace now that's going to hold the one side of our bed and it's going to get screwed up against this wall over here. We managed to attach the screws here, but it was not stable. I think the plywood behind here is just too soft. The walls in the, the wall over here doesn't have enough rigidity to it to attach with wood screws. So I'm going to have to drill all the way through and through bolt it into the exterior storage. Um, that's fine. I didn't have any uh, bolts long enough though, but I remember when we took the cabinets apart in the previous videos, there were some bolts that came out of those. I think these are going to be the perfect fit to attach with, but I'm not certain yet. The bolts I was looking at were not even close to long enough, so I went and dug around in the scrap bins and found these really long, fairly heavy duty um, flathead martini. Uh, machine screws that um, I was able to get the job done with. I um, ended up drilling all the way through the wall and into the exterior storage compartment on this side. And you can just see they come through on this side. Next, we have the main runners for the bed. For the next step in the build of the bed, we're going to build two cross pieces to kind of square up this side of the bed. Cross pieces are in place. And this platform is done. Time to build the second one. So I bought one of these brackets um, for like fencing and things like that. I'm going to use this for the last hanger for the two by fours. Might end up using two of them. Um, but I can't use it with this bend in it. So I'm going to um, use my little vise here and I'm just going to hammer that flat so I can use this. We should be able to use that now. Before I mounted the next rails, I wanted to look and see what behind the walls look like. So this is behind the wall on the driver's side of the ambulance. And a little bit of an investigation that I can't quite film on this side, passenger side, looks like this is a sheet of aluminum with a thin sheet of plywood over it. So it's a little different. It's going to be a little easier to mount on this side. Final screws going into the two-part bed frame here in the back of the ambulance. Even Captain and Emily came out to join us. So the next step here is I'm going to put one of these bra this bracket here underneath the two two by fours so that they can't so that the bed frame can't shift while we're traveling. Well, the bed frame took longer than expected. But we do have the frame built, and it's all in, and we've tested whether or not we can take it out and put it back in, and it kind of works. It was getting late, and Terry had to go home, so we called it for the night. The next day, though, I woke up and got back to cutting some plywood. This old track that I have really didn't want to come together today, but I'm going to need it in order to make the cut on the plywood for the bed. A little bit of hammering on it and some WD-40, and it did finally come together. Just had a good moment that reminds me why I uh, want to measure twice and cut once. Luckily I didn't start cutting, but I had measured 33 and 3 quarters instead of 34 and 3 quarters on the far end down there. And that would have left me with a whole sheet of plywood basically ruined. I don't have a table saw, so this track is really helpful for me. Um, I like these sawhorses quite a lot, but I don't want to cut into the top of them. So I do move the board around a bit to avoid the sawhorses. But it doesn't add too much hassle. So, overall, better than having to buy a table saw. So, I just test fit the first piece of plywood in here. Um, it fits pretty good. I'm a little disappointed with my long cut that I made. It seems to drift off size a little bit, or maybe my bed frame in here actually drifts off size a little bit. I'll have to measure through it and see which thing is off, but. I'm off by a little bit on the end down here, about a quarter of an inch. I uh, have to decide if I want to fix that. Both platforms are cut, and I'm just getting them fitted in now, and so far so good. 
bed platform is installed. Now I just want to, I'm going to play around with putting a kind of a face plate on here that'll be as, act as a lip for the mattress so it doesn't slide off if we stop. The bed platform is done. Now we just need a mattress and well, to paint it and do those finishing details, but I don't have those supplies. Thanks for watching. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up. And if you feel like it, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.